Yeah, no, it's it's a partnership with uh, Space Ape Games, um, and it's a uh, it's a, a, a digital game called Chrome Valley Customs, and uh, we did a partnership. I think you know um, having something in that space is still vital for me. So it was dope to partner with them, and it's a great game. And you know, I, it was a play on on that. But it was interesting, man. A lot of people had assumed that it was going to be the relaunch of Pimp My Ride. And it just shows how powerful of an impact that show had. And, you know, I'm I'm grateful for everyone that enjoyed it. And, you know, it, it, it was dope. It was dope when we did it. Yeah, I think I've seen you might have even, like, edited, like, the IG caption just to make a disclaimer because, <laughs> you know, the story start to fly. It was going crazy. No, it went from being, it went from being, like, I hinted at it to, like, it's a full-blown reboot. Like, 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 it's coming back. MTVs, it was like, guys. Chill, relax, relax, relax. And why do you think um, that show was uh, really popular? I think the show was popular because it dealt with wish fulfillment. It was like, you know, it had nothing to do with me. It had nothing to do with the cars. It was entertaining. It was the, a point in reality television where, you know, um, it was fun. It didn't have fun at somebody else's expense, and it wasn't, you know, a negative, you know, um, uh, display of, you know, just mess. It was like, okay, yeah, it, it was like people came on the show, everybody has a junker or beater car, um, you know, the, the humor that was there, um, good and bad. <laughs> and it was fun. And we were in people's living rooms. You know, a lot of people come and, and talk to me about the show and say that they grew up with the show and, you know, and, and, and how fun it was for them. But yeah, it was, it's, I, 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 I don't take credit for that. I think it was a really dope, you know, moment that was captured and we were able to make a lot of people happy. So, I mean, I've seen some comments that uh, accuse Exhibit of not really even being into car culture. You know, they said you don't fuck with cars like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, you, you, it has been part of your brand for about 15, 20 years. So. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, no. Do I fix cars? No. I can't fucking fix your car. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how to work on engines. But me being a part of the car culture, like, car culture is a big in, the, in California in the West Coast, period. Low riders, muscle cars, racing, you know what I'm saying? Like, convertibles, that's part of our lifestyle, so... You know, people will say anything just to, you know, say anything. Or can I fix your car? No. But am I into car culture? Yes. Got it. Got it. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I think you're going to yeah, listen. I can't wait to drop new music. Kingmaker coming this summer for sure. Well, okay. I mean, are you still feeling like retirement or just met, you just going to make music when you feel the urge? Let's, 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 retirement's a big word. Let, let, you know, I, I feel like retiring is a whole different animal than just doing solo records. I will always make music because that's in my soul. Right. But let's let's see what happens when I put this music out. The the public is going to tell me what's happening. Uh, lay out the West Coast hip-hop lineage. Um, you know, you'll definitely see X in the family tree, uh, along <laughs> with Kendrick Lamar. You know, he yeah. had uh, one of the probably the biggest battle of all time, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. we didn't have TikTok uh, back in the days when it, all you guys were beefing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, and, you know, it's been quiet for a few days. Uh, given uh, the silence, uh, how do you uh, put the beef in perspective with Drake? Ooh, um, I, you know, I've heard the, the back and forth, you know. I, my whole thing is like, look, you know, hip-hop has always been competitive. Hip-hop has always been you know, kind of that 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 thing and, and battling has always been part of it. So um my take on it is that, you know, I don't want to see anybody get hurt. We've seen our share of people lose their lives over, you know, dumb shit. So um um uh, there's some good music that came out. Kendrick is 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 my favorite, you know what I'm saying, out of out of the out of the, the two. Um, not saying that, you know, Drake doesn't do good music or he doesn't have fans. I'm not saying that, but it's all W for me. And, um, I, I just want to keep it on wax. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that it stays where it's supposed to be. You know, I'm, I'm not, 
excited about hearing about people being hurt or shot or, you know, or people, you know, involving themselves in this unnecessarily. Um, I, I think, I think it, it's good for hip hop because it brings back lyricism uh, where there's so much has been lost in translation with people who really don't understand the lineage and, you know, what hip hop has represented for these years. And um, it became a popularity contest, in my opinion, and less about the music and more about the popularity. I, I like it that it's going back to the music. So, but so as long as it keeps it there and people are, you know, are are, are entertained by the music, then that's fine. But when it get when it goes past the music, then that's when it becomes a little disturbing.